Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's time for Funnel Fridays. This is Dawn Marie, the Bullionist. And if you don't already have the AvNav app already set up, it's okay. But preferably have it set up. Go ahead and log into it from your mobile. We're going to go through a fantastic training today called Building a High Performance Organization. This is week six. And what's beautiful about this is we have all the previous weeks in the coaching section of the app. So if you're just getting started today, don't worry. It's not like it's going to be so advanced that you won't be able to catch up. We like to give you some great features and then go through a walkthrough to make sure everyone that's starting knows how to get started easily and effortlessly. But let's go ahead and get started. I want to introduce you uh, to Jen Higgeman. Am I saying that right? You are Higgeman. All right, Higgeman. You got it. She is a uh, world traveler. She is currently in Connecticut, and she is part of the Rapid Funnel team. And the reason why the, the app is called Advancement Navigator is because we have our own brand just for at cost metals. This is only for at cost metals. Super exciting, and. I, I wanted to bring it to the company so that as we were just in soft launch, that we could hit the pavement running. And so you're going to find out some great uh, features about it. And then what we'll do is we'll go into like a little work session that you could follow along on your app. And then, then we'll open it up to questions and answers. So without further ado, what's beautiful about Jen is she is a seasoned veteran in the network marketing industry and a lover of the app rapid funnel and so she decided to join patrick shaw who is the ceo of rapid funnel patrick has invested over seven million dollars uh building this out this is the most popular network marketing app out there and they're going to tell us a little bit more about it but without further ado take it away jen Thank you so much, Don. I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to share number six with you. What we're going to go over today is the concept of building a high performance organization, which here's the thing. When you're just getting started, you know, there are some basic th things that you will need to do. And Don will be going over some of the really getting started stuff. But if you ask yourself why you're here and what you want to build, obviously you have a phenomenal leadership. They've brought this 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 whole platform together for you. And what that's going to allow you to do is create something that is phenomenal and growing and duplicatable. So you might, everyone's gets into this business for a number of different reasons. And what I'm going to go over today is kind of a two parts, the, the, the philosophy behind building a successful income here, but also sort of a high level concept of, what should the focus be in terms of your team? Because you really are building your own business and you've got great leadership who understand the principles of this type of a business. So the app just allows you to implement those principles in a really profound way. And I'll, I'll kind of discuss that as we go through. But essentially what I want you to think about is Honestly, you get whatever you ex whatever you focus on. Whatever you pay attention to is what will get bigger and bigger and bigger in your life. And so it's important when you're growing here that you take a look at what are you actually focusing on with this. Some of this is sort of mindset, but some of this is also just as a practical matter when you're growing a business, what do you have to think about? And obviously when you're starting a new business, it can be intimidating. I don't know how many of you have ever had a business before. You can put in the chat if you've ever had a business before or if this is your very first time doing something entrepreneurial, but it can feel overwhelming for sure. And certainly, even if you've had a business before and you feel like you're well-versed in, in being an entrepreneur, you're probably going to have people on your team or they're going to have people on their team who don't. So you want to understand that it's intimidating to start a new business. And our, our job as leaders is to make sure new people coming on board experience a 
a check in their first 90 days. That's just so important in our industry. And obviously in, you know, in your team, it's just going to build belief in a way that builds it like nothing else. You know, you're going to have anyone saying this is a fantastic opportunity, but until you actually get a check that you're depositing, you, you, it's a, still a theory, basically. And so one of your jobs as a leader, one of our jobs as a leader is to make sure that new people get that check. So the best way to make sure someone gets a check is to take, really take a look at what should they be doing every day to make sure their business gets off to a fast start and grows? So we call these KPIs, which stand for Key Performance Indicators. It's a metric that's used by a lot of businesses. And basically, it's looking at key things. How many people did you tell the story to? And how many of them actually took a look at some information? And then, you know, did you follow up with those people? Did you meet with them? Did you get them to an event? Did you put them in front of your leader in a three-way or a Zoom call or something like that? Because it, it though it's very hard actually to ask people those questions, especially if you're relatively new to team building. You, you know, it's and especially if it's someone that you know, it can feel like you're sort of pushing those boundaries. It can just feel a little awkward. And so the challenge is how do you measure those and sort of ex inspect what you expect in a way that works and in a way that not only you can do it, but someone on your team can do it with someone on their team and that person can do it with someone on their team who can do it with someone on their team. It's all about the duplication. So what our um, whole focus is, is building a culture around measuring what needs to be measured in order to be successful. That's really the, the key. So again, the solution is you're going to expand and have get bigger what you focus on. And so if you have a strategy and you have a way to teach people what to focus on, that's going to make a big difference. And your app, your AdNav app does it beautifully. You've got a really, really simple format and, and visual too for taking a look at what are they doing? What? How many times are they reaching out to someone new? How many times are those new people actually looking at information? So measuring those and being able to see those quickly and easily is super helpful for the new person. And it's also super helpful for their mentor who is trying to coach them through how to get started, how to get that first check. So the numbers that we look at are exposures and engagements. We also have a way of looking at your statistics overall. I'll show you that in a second. And then you guys have contests going already. And I'll tell you what, people will do more for contests than they'll do almost for anything else. So all of this really starts with you. You want to have goals and you want to decide what's your personal activity. And I know I talked about this uh, last time or the time before. Set a goal that you know that you can do on a consistent basis, because consistency trumps everything. And the cool thing about your app is that your app will show you how consistent have you been. You can really look at how many people you've exposed in the course of a week or a month and know what your numbers are. So you don't fake yourself out thinking, oh, I've talked to all sorts of people. This app will really tell you that you've talked to 12 people, you know, or you've talked to 32 people. It's really helpful. And then here's the beauty of it. The app will also help you track how many people you've talked to and how many people have engaged and taken a look at your information. And the reason that you want to understand that statistic is that when you know, I have to talk to 10 people to get, let's, I'm just going to use five for an example. I have to talk to 10 people. I have to invite 10 people to get five people to actually watch my video. If you know that it takes 10 to get five, knowing those numbers just absolutely separates you from the crowd and liberates you because then you know exactly what you need to do to get Let's just say your goal is I want 100 people to watch the video. Then you know you need to talk to two. You need to invite 200 probably. So your numbers might not be those numbers. And I'm just throwing those out hypothetically. But you can see from your front page what your ratio is, what your numbers are. And I'll show you that in just a second. 
having a sense of what your numbers are and what your ratio is will really set you free. And it will help you train your team too, because you might have someone who's fearless in terms of they go invite, invite, invite. They are exposing the whole world to everything. But the number of people who actually take a look at the information might be very low, might be below 40% or something. So you know there where to coach that person from the standpoint of they're out there sort of blasting the world with information, but they're not actually getting any engagement. And that's a huge distinction. And you can have a conversation with them and find out who are they inviting? Are they just inviting strangers or are they actually being brave and inviting people that they know and people they have credibility with? So it helps you as a leader too to coach those people because you can see what's happening. And that's the beauty of this. That's why I'm here with this app is this app gives you visibility to see what's actually going on with your team and with your own business. And so another key feature of this whole process of growing and allowing your, your business time to duplicate is it allows you to reward what's important because I don't know how many of you have experienced this before, but oftentimes you'll have people who just are, yeah, 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 I'm going crazy. I'm talking to this. I'm doing that. I'm doing the other thing. But if you were to have them send you a quick screenshot of their statistics or the brag button of their statistics and you could see their numbers you'd realize okay in the last 30 days they only had one or two exposures you just know okay they're a lot of talk and they're not a lot of action and that helps you understand where to spend your time as a leader and as a coach so it allows you to, to reward. If you see someone doing a lot of exposures and getting a lot of engagement, that's the kind of thing that you know, okay, that person, they're doing a lot. They're really good. They're getting some engagement. You can go in and dig down and work with that person and help them do a little more. But same with the first person. If they're doing a lot of exposures and they're not getting a lot of engagement, that is also a place to work with people and coach them and show them, okay, what are your conversations? Who are you speaking to? And you can coach them and help them improve. And we also have um, a lot of different things that you can leverage to recognize and support your team with, like the wizard, which I don't know how many of you have used. We went over it briefly before, but I'll go over it again in just a second here when I share my screen. But being able to help people do the actual activity that needs to be done in order to be successful here creates a, a, a culture within your team where you're going to up the odds of success for sure and where everyone knows exactly what they need to do there's clarity and when there's clarity people will take action and the other thing is you guys have some contests and I'll tell you like I said before recognition is huge when it's a game it's just it's just so much more fun it's not really just about okay I'm going to reach out to someone it's about where am I on the leaderboard how am I doing and recognizing that and paying attention to that just helps people have fun with the process of learning something new and implementing it because these are new skills for a lot of people and then the last thing here is just you know it's not the military you're going to have some people that come in and they love the company and they love the product and they love the team and they love the events but they just you know it's not the right time for them and that's okay it's the right person it's not the right time or it's the right person and their goals are smaller than yours and that's also okay one of the things i love about this industry is all are welcome and so you're you know you've got a place where people can participate at the level that they want to participate at and you can just love them all but at the same time as a leader you have the ability to distinguish between here's a person that's really engaged i'm going to focus my time on them instead of a person that maybe just honestly doesn't want to engage all that much they just want to be here they love the group and so you know it helps you clarify where to spend your time which is huge so your challenge is i'm going to show you uh one thing with the brag button and there's a whole bunch of other things that you can do and john's going to um, show you just some of the basics again but you can send your statistics page for example or your leaderboard to either someone on your team and get some coaching or you can also just post it on your team. If your team has social media pages, you can post it and say, hey, here's where I'm at. Here's how I'm doing. You know, catch me if you can. There just are a lot of ways to really have fun with this. And it's just, it's an awesome resource for being able to just 
also not fake yourself out about what you're doing. That's the most important part. It's real easy to think you're engaged in a lot of activity and not necessarily be in the right activity. And your AdNav app helps you stay focused on the right activity. And we know if you will focus on the right activity, you will have results. So the next training is going to be on personalizing your app. And the cool thing about this is inside of your app is a digital business card. You can include so many cool things on that, your picture, all your social media, just a lot of things. And then when you're someplace where you're sharing your card, you know, it's just a show someone the QR code. It's super easy. You don't have to wait for them to type your information in. It's really a fun tool to have. So if you are having fun with the app so far, we would love it if you'd leave a review. Log in if you want to catch a, a screenshot of these. Uh, log into your app store first so that you can uh, click it and then click the review button. I want to show you guys one thing on the brag button. Okay, so down in the bottom right, click on the more button. So if you guys are on your app, you can follow along so you can see. And in the left-hand column, the third one down, if you see the home screen, then there's contests and then there's statistics. If you click on statistics, you see your statistics. Now these tell you just sort of everything you need to know about how you're doing. And these stats are awesome because you've got 92% engagement, which is huge. So what you can do with these statistics is you can share them with your leader and or you can post them on your social media team and just say, hey, I'm at 92%. How are you doing with your engagement? I mean, you can just run little challenges with each other and have fun with it. Make it like Candy Crush, you know, make it like a game that people are playing. And that just takes some of the sting away from learning something new that might be a little uncomfortable if you can make it a game. But the other part about it too is that people will really rise to a challenge if they see hey, someone's in number one, someone's in number two. So if you click on the brag button like Don just did, you've got a great shot. And down at the bottom, you can click share. So you can then share that image, either text it to someone. So here's a great way to use the tool. You've got someone on your team and they're saying, you know, I'm struggling. I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm talking to people and I'm just not, you know, getting anywhere. It's not working or whatever they're gonna say. If you ask them to share their stats with you and they send you their stats and you see, well, you know, they only talk to two people. Because <laughs> some people honestly think I'm going to talk to three people, four people, and they're just going to jump right in with me. You know, in a, it, like I said, in an earlier training, there is a certain degree of just numbers that you have to hit here before you find enough people. Not that not it isn't the right time, but it's not it's not the right moment for them to be doing this. And so you just need to go and talk to enough people to find the people who are ready to take action right now. That's the difference. And you're never going to get rid of the people that aren't ready to take action. And the cool thing is your AdNav app has a whole strategy for when people aren't ready now, there's a way to keep them in the loop so that you do one of the one of the hardest things in our industry, which is follow-up. And this app has a whole plan for it to make that easier so that in two weeks, two months, six months, when it might be the right time for them, you've kept them in the loop. But back to the, back to the brag button, you can send your stats. You can see, for example, here's your leaderboard with your contest, which is awesome. And you can share your leaderboard and, you know, maybe you oh, and a okay. fellow teammate are running neck and neck at fifth and sixth or something like that. You can take a hit that brag button, get a screenshot, text it to him and say, hey, buddy, I'm going to be beating you by next week. So that type of incentive is but it's just a lot of fun. It's more exciting for most people. So really cool stuff going on here with your ability to inspire people who are getting started, keep yourself inspired about the process, and also just have it be something that is a system that people can implement right away without having to wonder, you know, what do I do? How do I do it? Where do I find stuff? You've got one-stop shopping. So with that, I will sign off from my side and Dawn, feel free to take it away and walk people through. And we're obviously happy to answer any questions too. Okay. And I, you know, that's so funny that you said that because 
Antoine um, at the beginning of the week was like at an eight. And yep. so I had sent him um, something like, hey, I, I sent him the leaderboard. I, I went like this and I scrolled up. I did a video and he wasn't sh anywhere. I was like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And I go all the way down to eight. And I said, boy, it looks like you need to get to work. And so exactly. then he showed me his brag. He's like, I'm at 25 now. So <laughs> we could do that for each other, guys. It's all about accountability, like Jen was saying. Mm -hmm. And you just have to think of different ways to get in front of people and to just ask them, hey, do you have a few minutes to watch a video? It doesn't even have to be the overview. Just start with one of those on in the peak. Let's mm -hmm. go to the resources really quickly. Now I'm going to the resources directly here. Um, and I want you to remember for those that are new as well, just the redundancy of this. When we go directly to the resources at the bottom, this is for social media sharing. This is not going to be trackable. So um, we, so this is not going to be part of the contest. So that's what's important. For it to be counted for the contest, you have to go to your contact first. But let me just show you this for ease. I'm going to resources. So the reason why it's not trackable is because when you're sending this on social media, masses of people could click and there's no connection to that. And so what I want to just show you here is when you're asking for someone to, uh, you know, watch a three minute video, you're sending out some a, a, a request, hey, do you have a few minutes to watch something? Then you could choose um, the survey, you could choose the why at Cost Metals. And if this, if you are just opening up the app for the first time, all you have to do is click play. See the button on the right, play? And that's going to show it to you what it looks like so that you'll know, hey, this person, this is going to be the perfect one. Here's info for retirees. And listen, they don't have to be a retiree. I say anybody that's over 50 years old. And just watch this so that you know which one you want to send to the people. So let me close that out. Oops. There we go. All right. So let me go back to um, what I wanted to share with you today is... First of all, if this is your first time opening the app, we're just going to be a little redundant here, and then we're going to open it up, up to Q&A. Um, the most important thing to do to make sure that your join button is programmed with your At Cost Metals website is to go to the right here at the bottom, click on more, and then at the top here, there is a settings button. Go to the settings. And make sure where it says ACM referral code that you have your referral code in there. And this should not be a link. This is just the word or numeric of characters without spacing that you chose. And it's okay for you to make it upper lowercase like we have here to make it stand out and look pretty aesthetically. It doesn't matter if at when you first signed up, it's all uppercase, or maybe you did all lowercase. It's not case sensitive. But that's going to be the most important thing to make sure that you get in there immediately and do that as well. Go into your account settings. Make sure that the email that you want to use is in there and your time zone. Because if the time zone, I think it defaults to mountain time because Rapid Funnel is headquartered in Denver. So if you are on East Coast or you are in London, then your, the events are not gonna come up correctly, the times of the events. So we wanna make sure that everything looks good. And then as well, going back here, you can flourish all of these fields for social media. So when you go to see a resource like your card, that it will show it right here. Follow me on. If you don't put your stuff in there, then it's not going to show any of those things. So do whatever you wish. But this is where she was talking about the business card. And right now we have pre-programmed the most popular 10 um, buttons. But next week, she's going to show you how you can overwrite that. And maybe you have one of the other resources in our library is your favorite 
So you'd prefer to put it in there. You're going to have control over that. Super exciting. Okay, now let's go back to the contest really quickly. If you want to, if you have questions in a moment, we will allow you to um, uh, unmute and ask questions, or you can actually go ahead and type your questions in and then we'll get them. But right now we have this sprint to success and we did wanna share one change. The qualifiers for this contest is two different things. We wanted to incorporate the AvNav app to make sure that you're using it. You have to get a minimum of 75 engagements, which means that not only are you sending out the resources to people, that, which is called an exposure when you send it out, but they actually have clicked it and watched it or engaged. So it's a survey, they filled it out, et cetera. You need 75 of those to qualify. Plus then at that time, it will be in addition to the 75 engagements, then it's going to be in, at, through at Cost Metals, whoever has um, the top QV, which means how many people that they've recruited and so forth. And so because we're in soft launch and there's been some delays and everyone's just learning the system, we wanted to announce tonight or today that we are going to extend the contest one more month through the end of May. So this is April 1st to 30th. We are going to update this to say May 31st at 1159 p.m. Central Time. That will close it out. This will give everyone a whole month to get up to the 75 engagement. Jen and Rob McKee are number one. They're at 36. Rock is at 33. So we want to see people get to 75 minimum. Now, although that may seem ambitious, it really is not. It is a matter of you deciding how many per day that you're going to put out there. And it does not have to be warm market, guys. You could be hitting social media. You could be going into different groups, asking people, would you help me take a survey, uh, a one minute survey? Would you watch a one, a three minute video? Help me. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for favors. Help me win a contest. I really need this. Would you please do this for me? And in in um, wouldn't that be cool if some of your best friends happen to watch the three minute video just to help you win the contest? And by the way, they happen to get excited about watching the program of At Cost Metals and end up becoming a, a member as a byproduct. How cool is that? So be creative. We're going to extend this another month just to make sure that everyone um, has an opportunity to do this. And um, the first, second, and third prizes are as Antoine tells on our power zooms, he's going to fit the bill for the get ahead coin for first place for three months, second place for one month. And then the third uh, place is going to be a, a silver Eagle piece of bullion. You jump on these contests and run with them. They can be game changers for your business. You definitely can use these to really get things going and cooking and your leaders have put together an amazing contest for you with some fabulous fabulous rewards so jump on it use it make it a game have fun with it that's really the the key and everyone that you know understands a contest so as don was saying uh you know it if you ask people, if you say, hey, I'm starting something new and I've got this contest going on, would you do me a favor and just take a look at a quick survey or would you just take a look at a quick video if I texted you a link? Most people will say, sure, man, I'll help you out. So have fun with it because you can get quite a lot done when you have contests and you've got some fabulous rewards, which is really exciting for you. Your leadership's really stepping up and, and doing some cool stuff for you. Take advantage of it. And it's just going to keep getting better and better. We're just starting, guys. It's so exciting. So we're going to go into the Q&A, and here's the ground rules for Q&A. Please try not to stump us, meaning no <laughs> highly technical troubleshooting issues because we're not tech support. We do have tech support on the line, but we're not going to go into tickets or troubleshooting. And one question per person 
if you want to raise your hand and ask it by voice, but you can type as many questions as you want in the chat box and we'll get them answered. And um, if you have a question, I will bring up the app and actually show you how to do it. So if you have a question, okay, we got Anne. So let's go ahead and ask her to un unmute. Go ahead with your question, Anne. Hi, Don. When you were talking about the time zone in the app, you were cutting out. I'd like to know, am I able to adjust that to Eastern time zone? Because when I'm getting results of people looking at things, it's in a different time zone. Is, can we adjust it? Yeah. So yeah, you just go oh, into good. your profile, wherever you're at. If you're traveling, just change it. At the bottom okay. here, under more, you're going to go to your settings, just like you do for your profile. And under account settings is where you go. And you see there at the very bottom, that is where the time zone is. And so you just click uh -huh. on that and change it to whatever you want. Save it. And then all the hours will be on yours. Now, listen, when you're sending an invite to someone, it's going to be based on their time zone on their computer. So super cool on their end. But at least you'll see the events and the times and the notifications and the reminders based on your time zone. That is awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see. We have And if Richard. anybody if anybody oh, hasn't my. seen Mike if anybody has missed Mr. Fireman Mike's video, it works. You mean his uh comparison? Yeah, it's working on my prospects. Good. Okay, yes, and we just added that. Let me thank you for mentioning that. Okay, what she's talking about is the new Firefighter Mike testimonial. So under resources, go to testimonials. And make sure that you're sending out the silver bar. And let me just show you. Here is our sample verbiage. You guys can change it. Here's a powerful two-minute price comparison testimonial from Firefighter Mike, bound to get you fired up. He saved over $50 buying a 10-ounce silver bar over Costco's total price. Let's discuss at-cost pricing along with all the other benefits and at-cost metals membership offers after you have viewed. And keep in mind, our number right now uh, is, or, or the number right now is Costco is selling $200, $200 million worth of gold and silver every month. Guys, there is a supply or there is a demand. We offer the supply. Thank you, Anne, for mentioning that. I want to make sure that everyone understands um, how to get an engagement on the contest. So. First, you have to go to your contact one by one. So we're going to click on contact and we're going to click on demo contact in this case. And then um, it can be an event invite or it can be a resource. So let's say that I want to do um, a resource and I want to send out the the. Let's say that they contacted me about pricing. I love this. We have this product pricing page. And if I click on the text, then I can see exactly what they're going to see. It says, click above for the product pricing link. Be prepared to be wowed. No markups on our bullion. What we buy it for, we sell it for. I won't read the whole thing. But if I send that, it's under follow-up, product pricing. This is what they're going to see. They're going to go to a special landing page with all the products on here. And all they have to do is click on any of the images to see what our sell price is, our buyback price is, and what the spot price is. How cool is that? At the bottom, it will show your picture, your information. And if they click join now, it's going to link them to your at cost metals. Um, join page. Now, this is a demo account, so this is not a real username because I just put in referral code um, as the username, so that's why it's not going to show up. But when it's yours, it's going to show up your username uh, sign-up page. So when you do it this way, just again, just to be super clear, you go directly to a contact, you click on the contact, you then click on send resource, and then you choose, if you've already gotten permission, 
whichever one you want to do. Again, there's it's nice to go into peak first, but everything is case by case. There is no black and white. Maybe the person wants to go directly, like Anne said, to see the silver bar price comparison video. That's a three minute video. Um, and maybe someone wants to do their due diligence. I mean, this person analyzes everything. I don't know if you know this, but you could just randomly, not randomly, but I can click more than one thing at a time. And then I could send it to them. And here's what it's going to look like. These are actually going to be trackable links. Now, I will tell you, it's each person is only counted for once in the contest. So don't get excited that you send them 10 different links and they click on all of them. You're not going to get 10 engagements. It's only going to count for one. But this is really cool because if you have someone that says, hey, send me all the details about this, you can click more than one thing and then they can watch it whatever order they want. I love doing this with someone that is experienced in the industry and wants the brass um, what do they sell? Bolt and nuts. Does that inspire or open up any questions? If you have a question, go ahead and uh, raise your hand or type it in the chat box. And we do try to every single time just teach you something new, something exciting, something new, because you're going to find that this app has so many features. And if this is the first time joining the, the training, the first thing you should do is add yourself. Add yourself as a contact. So at the bottom, right in the middle, it shows a little silhouette of a contact with a plus sign. Go ahead and type your own name, your, no, your, your first name, last name, phone number, email, and add yourself. And then send yourself some of these resources so that you can see what it looks like to receive them. Um, and once you add yourself as a contact, let me go, here's one that says Dawn Test. Then I can, if you add their email, then you can actually go into the active campaign, this uh, halfway down the screen. This is an email campaign that we have. I highly recommend that you um, add yourself to it and also add anybody that you want to get emails from us. It's just about precious metals. It's going to keep them in the loop, what's going on in the industry, so that they understand the urgency of accumulating gold and silver. When you click assign the ACM opportunity campaign to them, it will shoot them out an opt in email where they have to click the link to opt in for it and then begin to receive the emails. So make sure that you let them know that. And let me just show it to you. Right now, this is what it looks like. And we're gonna be adding more. I have some articles I need to put in. So as you can see, we have opt in and then day one, day three, day seven, day 15, 25, so on and so forth. We're gonna build this out today like 400 and it just goes like every it just expands by going every seven to ten days just sprinkling information on them because as we know many of us know a lot of times it's not a no it's a not right now so if they can see and understand why it's so important for them to be buying gold and silver and start to understand what's going on with the money why it's pinching their wallet, how they can leverage gold and silver to you know, preserve their wealth and that anybody can do it on any budget. So these are all the things I have in my head to help people remember, you do not have to be wealthy to accumulate gold and silver. We have leveled the playing field. And all I'm right. just gonna jump in here yes, and please add do. to that. Uh, the email campaigns are such a powerful strategy with your AdNav app because First of all, you have a way to keep people in the follow-up cycle without being a nag. You know, a lot of people, they'll ask someone, and as Don was saying earlier, you know, it just might not be the right time. For most people, you know, they they see it, they're interested. It just, they got stuff going on. Their, their kids are trying to get into college. They're taking care of an elderly parent. They're 
their job just added a new division. You know, there could be a million reasons why it's not the right time. And they may not even know how to express that to you other than I'm just maxed out. You know, I don't have the capacity to look at one more thing. But if you just ask them, you look, hey, I get that it's not the right time. Can I just every so often send you an article if I think it would be of interest to you? So you get there okay. And the cool thing is that if they opt into that campaign, you guys are doing an amazing job of using that campaign to talk about the problem and talk about the solution in a way that people can relate to. It's fairly generic in the sense that it's not just always about your company. So again, they don't necessarily feel like you're nagging them about, hey, join me, join me, join me. They're just getting education. And the power of that is profound because people, like I said, it might not be the right time now, but in 90 days, maybe something shifts or in 90 days they have a lull. And if they, if you've been emailing them, that might be the moment where they go, you know what, I'm finally going to look at Dawn's email because I know she's been sending me a bunch of stuff. I haven't had time to look at them, but look at this article. This looks, this actually does look really interesting. And they look at the article and then the app's going to tell you that they clicked on the link and they may have fallen off your radar because 60 to 90 days is kind of a long time to be paying attention to everybody. But the app is going to help you follow up and keep them in the loop keep you front of mind with them, even though they might not be active, you'll then be able to see when they did click on it. And then you'll know, you know what, they just clicked on my email, I should just reach out one more time. And that helps again, helps you manage your time. You're not bothering someone if they're not ready, but then when they are ready, you know about it, you can reach out and the timing might be perfect for them at that moment to say, yep, I'm ready to go. So it's all about maximizing and making your use of time as efficient as possible. And I just want to reiterate also what Don shared, because I know Antoine's talked about it as well. Put yourself in the app, play around with it, send yourself an email, send yourself a resource, send yourself the email campaign, you know, just play around because you can't break it. And so you want to kind of know how it works and you want to know what it looks like when people receive things from you. So definitely poke around because familiarity will make you more comfortable with it. If you're more comfortable with it, you'll use it more. And if you'll use it more and engage and expose more people, you'll get more engagements. If you have more engagements, you guys already have the product, the leadership, the company to rock it and grow a business. It's all about how many times does the message get out there? That's really the key indicator. And with this app, you can measure it and see what your team's doing. You won't fake yourself out. This is like, like Dawn said earlier, it's only the exposure part of it is only gonna measure a unique exposure. So you can't keep calling your mom or texting your sister. It's, you know, they're going to count it once and then that's it. And so it also teaches <laughs> you, you got to keep going to new people and you have the surveys and you have some other great resources for creating other leads. I know we've talked about it in other, other trainings and we'll talk about it more in the future. I know Don and Antoine will as well, but it just helps you stay inactive in the right activity that we know if you'll stay in that right activity, you will be successful here. This truly is just an incredible opportunity for the average person to earn above average income, but they've got to be doing the right activity. And oftentimes they're not really clear on what that activity is. And your AdNav app guides you and your team and your new team members to exactly what the right activity is. So I'm excited yes. for you because I think you've got a lot of ducks in, in line. So the world's your oyster. Plus you've got that great contest and contests are, are awesome. Okay, great. And also keep in mind, you know, there are people that jump when you say jump that are in your circle of influence. So you reach out to them and they say, yes, sign me up. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to send the money? Okay, that's great. Each of us may have one. Some people have a lot of those type of people. But did you know it typically takes six to eight exposures before they will say or look at things? So do not get down on yourself for the rest of the people that require six to 10, six to 15 exposures. Just keep plugging it away. And let's do what we did last week. Type in the chat box how to, to let's show some accountability. How many exposures do you do each day? What is your goal? 
How many new people are you reaching out to? Remember, brand new people that you're reaching out to, not follow-ups. And uh, Darren does have a question while you guys type that in the chat box. I'm going to ask you to unmute. And I see Elsie has a question. I'll, we'll address that right. as well. Go ahead, Darren. Great, dude. Thank you much. I am fired up and excited about this training, man. This product, this tool, it's awesome. And just this week, I had the opportunity to introduce it to a couple of team members, and they they are doing backflips on cartwheels themselves. Um, but I had a question. While you were showing the statistics feature, I, I tried going in there, and I, I observed that it doesn't appear to be available to the free, to to the to those who have the free version of the app. The pro version, the non-free, is includes the hot contacts, the activity log, and the statistics. So, in order to do the brag button with statistics, you would need to have the statistics, which means you would need to have the paid version. But you can use that brag button for your leaderboards and for your contests. So you can definitely use that button in other applications, but you would need okay. to have a pro to do the statistics, yes. Okay, fantastic. Okay, and then really quickly, because we need to close it out at the top of the hour. Um, for Elsie, she says, I'm having event in I'm having event invites for the Zoom not being able to get on through the link. Are we missing a step? Tried it last night myself and it said it had already ended had to use the original link to get in okay we did find a bug at the last minute last night with a reoccurring event and we are fixing it so we're getting that all sorted but always have you were very smart always have the original zoom link available just in the case of any technical issues. I just was going to acknowledge uh, Vin and uh, El and uh, Fred for putting their numbers in the chat. You guys go. Fred's in for 10 to 15 every day. And Vin is in for uh, at least two a day with 10 as a goal. So you guys are off to an awesome start. That's fantastic. You do that consistently over a long enough period of time, and you're going to have a, a rocking team here. It's exciting. Let's go ahead and close it out. We really appreciate you guys joining us for Funnel Fridays. We're doing it every Friday for uh, eight to 12 weeks. We're getting the numbers down. It's going to keep going ongoing. We've got some great stuff coming up. We're going to be doing some uh, train the trainers, a lot of other stuff going on. So we're just getting started. So definitely tune in. In the chat box is the link to the Telegram channel. If you're not already part of that, tune in there. Get on Antoine's Facebook group. Make sure that you're plugged in. You're getting information. And I don't know if you saw last night in the Zoom, we had our first recognition um, on slides. So exciting to see so many golds and silvers. So um, keep working on it. Keep using those resources and all the new ones, the, the one from Firefighter Mike, that is a profound one. Right there, there they saved over $50 from Costco, Costco on a $300 purchase. That's exciting. So again, appreciate your time, guys. And let's go ahead and have finished strong this week. And we will see you here again next Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you for joining us.